Hello there. This is a uh, recording to talk a little bit about the interview paper and then to show you what is available on Laulima and where you turn in the paper and some resources for the paper itself. So, <clears throat> okay. Now this is right here, the handout for the interview. And this is a, um, th this is going to be the uh, interview paper for microeconomics. You're going to be turning in two of these papers and these instructions are located under resources, but let me go over it really briefly. So this is going to be a, a paper. There'll be two papers and it'll be three to five pages typed and double spaced. And uh, you've got a list of questions along with the answers to the questions. And each of the papers, there's going to be a consumer and a producer paper, is going to have three parts. First part is going to be a hypothesis section. And the hypothesis is a clear, objective, and testable statement that is typically a single sentence. And here is an example. The second part is going to be the actual interview of the consumer or the producer. And these um, interviews questions should focus on the hypothesis and whether the hypothesis was correct or incorrect. <clears throat> By the way, back to the hypothesis. The hypothesis is a single sentence and typically is stated as a sentence, as the example here demonstrates. Third section is the reflection on the interview itself. You're going to be saying whether the hypothesis was proven correct or incorrect, and what did you learn from the paper itself. So this paper is going to be three to five pages. Paper is going to be worth 100 points. And I'll be looking for various things such as appropriateness of the question, grammar, and sentence structure, as well as what you learn from the interview itself. So your first paper is going to be the consumer and the um, and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be picking a consumer and we economists want to know about the, cons the incentives that make consumers buy certain items and not buy other items. And as I list here, some of these incentives may include the price of the product, price of related products, and the consumer income. And we will learn about these various incentives, these various reasons for consumers to buy things specifically in Chapter 4, although there may be a little bit in Chapter 5 as well. Chapter 4 is supply and demand, and Chapter 5 is elasticity. Find a friend or a relative to interview for the role of the consumer. It should be easy to find a consumer since everybody is a consumer. And you're going to be picking hypotheses that are in essence the determinants of demand under chapter four. And um, so you'll, um, and then you'll have a, a, a statement. Now here's a list of possible questions that you can ask for your consumer, but do keep in mind that the hypothesis, the questions need to specifically be focused on the hypothesis itself. Due dates for um, this paper is going to be um, listed in your um, in your syllabus, and it's listed in um, in the uh, calendar. Uh, and for the online course, it's listed in the Applia calendar section. Now there is going to be a first stage for this paper, and this and this first stage is going to be the uh, the draft, whether it's for the consumer or the producer interview. And on this first stage, you will list the hypothesis, background information, uh, the product, and the questions that will be asked. And the due date for this is going to always going to be before a couple of weeks before the due date for the actual final paper itself. Now this is for the consumer. I'm also going to have you do one for the producer. It'll be the same idea, hypothesis, review, and reflection, but this will come after the consumer paper. 
And whereas with the consumer paper, the chapters, the relevant chapters are four and five, for the producer paper, the relevant chapters are chapter 13, cost of production, and then chapters 14 through 17, market structures. Here are some possible questions. And then the due date for this is going to be a couple of weeks before the due date for the, um, the draft, which is going to be the same idea as for the consumer paper, hypothesis, pro um, background information, and, um, and questions will be due a couple of weeks before the actual paper itself. And this actual paper for the producer will do, be typically due a week or so before uh, finals. Here are some tips for interviewers, the types of questions to ask. And here is the rubric that I'll be using to grade your papers. You can see it right here, and it's all available online in resources as well as the assignment sheet, which I'll be showing you right now. Now, on, you'll be turning in your papers via assignments on La Lima. And let me turn this on as a student. There we go. And so I have one for the CI draft. You would turn in your assignment here in the text box or um, do an attachment. It doesn't matter which way, but it's easier for me to grade if you do it on the text box. And right here are some model papers that you can look at. So this is for the consumer interview draft. This is for the consumer interview assignment. I have some, inst some basic instructions, but the, the real handout is this one, um, D4 regular, which I just went over in the first part of this video. Here's the rubric and here's some sample papers. You can turn the paper in here or you can submit via attachment. And then here is for the producer interview draft. Same idea, text box, attachments, and the producer interview assignment. Instructions, sample papers, how to turn it um, how to turn it in via text box or attachments now the final piece is the resources page and on the resources page I have backups for the interview handouts I have backups for the interview draft assignment model papers and model papers for the actual paper itself so this finishes the, this instruction uh, for the interview paper for Economics 130 Microeconomics.